it's Juju here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna go over the figure eights. Are you ready for this follow along section? Let's get started. If you are new to Nung Shucks, tap the button and watch the previous videos before coming to this video. For beginners learning nunchucks tricks, I would recommend you to start off with the soft nunchucks because these are soft and if you hit yourself, it won't be as painful as the hard ones. And always start slow and gradually increase your speed. So the first figure eight we're gonna do is the forward figure eight. So going forward, going forward, going forward, going forward. If you want a better control, hold the chuck up at the top. It will, it will give you a better control. If you want to move down, it's okay too. The further you move down, the harder the control is with your long chuck. But definitely lower the longer the reach. First, we hold it like this, and then we kind of swing our wrist inward and then go out so it's in and out in and out you go in and go out like that so if moving your wrist is hot, difficult for you then you can just try to swing the chuck not moving your wrist but just swinging the new chuck in and out in and out in and out both are okay so let's do 10 on this side ready go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, let's do the other side. So if you are right-handed, left side might be a little bit difficult for you. But it's okay. We hold at the top of the chuck. We give you a bit more control. And you draw a circle like inward outward like this and in out in out in out now let's do 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 next we're gonna do the backward figure eights so you spin your hand backward backward so we're holding it with our right hand outward inward outward inward outward inward like this Let's do 10. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's do the left hand side. We swing it outward and then inward. Up and out and then come back in. Let's do 10. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The following exercise, I'm going to combine the two figure eights, the forward figure eights and the backward figure eights. We're going to do this exercise so you'll be more familiar with changing the direction of your wrist when doing your figure eights. So first, we're going to do the forward figure eight. Coming into you, out. Outward. So that's one figure eight. After you complete the figure eight, you do the opposite direction. So now you reverse outward. When you do this exercise, keeping the momentum is important. You can see I'm doing one figure eight and I immediately change the direction. The nunchuck will follow along. Only if you just stop it like here, then it will be spinning and it might hit your wrist. Ready? Let's do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's do the left hand. Let's try one figure eight forward, one figure eight 
backward like this. Again, one figure eight in, one figure eight out. Now we're gonna do 10. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. So we're going to do the forward figure eight and then tap the front of your arm and the back of your arm and then we do the figure eight again tap the front and then the back remember when you're doing these moves you have an angle of between 45 to 90 degrees if it's too small it might spin up and hit you if it's a bit too big a bit over the 90 degree, it also might be able to hit your elbow and will be painful. Loosen your wrist, drop it down a bit so it would tap, and then swing it to the back. And then we do it again. When you're doing one hand nunchucks, the other side of the other hand is not dead. The other hand is still guarding, protecting, locking. At first, if you are nervous, you just want to concentrate, then Relax your body, relax your arm is important as well. So until you start getting familiar with the moves, then try to be more aware of the other arm. We're gonna do 10. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Now let's try the left side. Forward in, forward out, tap, tap. Forward in, forward out, tap, tap. Now let's do ten. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna do the backward figure eight and throw it to the back of your arm. Catch the chuck below your armpit. Swing it up like this. Now your left hand is holding the nunchuck. And from here, you can do the backward figure eight which is exactly what you just did on the other side. So now you just do one full figure eight on this side and then you swing it to the back, to the back of your arm. And now you can use your right hand to do exactly the same as what you just did on the other side. You grab the chuck right underneath your armpit, swing it up back to where we started. And then this can just keep going nonstop. Ready? We're gonna do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next exercise, we're gonna combine the last two exercises together. So we're gonna do the forward figure eight, tap forward, tap backward. And then we're gonna grab long shot underneath your armpit, swing it, and then we're gonna do the backward figure eight. And swing to the back. And then now you catch, and that's one. That's one complete set. So we're gonna do the right side first, and then we're gonna do the left side. We're gonna do 10. Ready? Go. That's one. In with figure eight, tap, tap, catch, out with figure eight, catch, bring it back. That's two. 
three. Oh, we're figure eight. Four. side. We're going to do the forward, forward, tap, tap, and then catch. Backward, backward, swing to the back, and then swing it back. That's one complete set. Ready? We're going to do 10. Go. One, two, three, Hope you enjoy these figure eight exercises. Figure eights requires a lot of wrist movements, so you definitely get better the more you practice it. See you next time.